Hey guys, Infidel 1258 here. This morning we're going to do our loot chest rewards for the daily quest on my main account. I've got it already unlocked. I'm going to show it to you first as soon as we get into the video here. Uh, and then we're going to do some rank grind. Right now there's amazing dark energy crystal payouts in the gold league. I'm getting like 100, 110 DC per victory and that's with like an 80% capture rate. I don't know if this is because they reworked how the bronze rewards were paying out and it's recalibrated the sort of distribution of DC per win at all levels or if it's just because fewer people are playing right now since the season just ended and a new one's begun sometimes that means there's fewer players that are excited to get back into it they want to take a little break at the end of the season you're quite crunched you're quite pressured you play a lot of games maybe you take a break in the first couple of days I don't know but I'm going to take advantage and if you're playing this game you should too DC rewards are high now get in the game if you're new to the channel, my name is Dwayne Cunningham. I go by Infidel1258 and we talk about Splinterlands. We do gameplay analysis. We talk about tips and tricks that can help you maximize your returns for your time and attention in this blockchain based video game. And without further ado, let's get into it. Here's the rewards. Let's see it. Not bad, not bad. Great card, great card, great card. Yeah, you guys know how I feel about these. These cards are underrated, they're inexpensive, and they're going to be considered meta in days to come. Maybe weeks to come, maybe months to come, but eventually. Get 200,000 power, enrage, low mana cap. Low mana cap. I'm thinking Assassin. The double sneak attack. I'm also thinking Sea Monster with with Bordas. Yeah. Sea Monster with Enrage is pretty nasty. But then again, you know what is also nasty? Serpent of Eld with the five speed and the dodge. But then what happens when it when it gets hit once? It's gonna go to like eight speed or something like that. Nine speed maybe. It'll be really hard to hit. It's gonna depend what what, what monsters he throws at me. So it's conceivable that he'll he'll play a fast monster also and that will make it less likely for me to be you know out dodge him kind of thing but i have a this is a good card for this context is what i'm saying so is honestly so is battle orca with the three uh with the three melee and the four speed and seven hearts it's gonna go up to six or seven speed it's gonna go up to five hit points all for all for three cost and then you could put other things in the back, right? So you could go like, I could go that and I could go that, which is pretty nasty with the Demented Shark. Or I could do my Iced Enchanted Pixie to amp him up again, maybe do a healer. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try the Serpent of Eld, see how that goes. And then I wanna go one healer and one Creeping Ooze. Creeping Ooze to just give me that extra chance to dodge. Okay, bear with me. I'm gonna, while that's loading up, I'm going to close my door here. Okay. So this guy's going to be... He's... The likelihood that he's going to kill me once I go in rage is zero. I don't even think neither of these will hit me once, once I go in rage. You know, mathematically it'll be possible, but I doubt it. I think we're going to be good. Plus I got the one heal. I'm a little worried about the blast ruining my furious or getting to my albatross, but we'll see. Obviously the thorn damage could be a problem for me, but look, I'm at eight speed and he's at one. That's, see, look at the misses. You know, eight speed. There it is, miss, miss. Boom, dead. The only thing that could have gone wrong there really would be Thorns. If, if he had managed to luck out in the 20% chance he had there to have hit me two times consecutively, that would have been really unlikely, but it was possible and it would have resulted in me dying. Because that with the Thorns damage would, would have killed me. That's 30 rank points. We got 120 DC for that. This moves us into diamond uh, Diamond, if we want. Doesn't it? Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, I'm in diamond. 
Oh, I see. I started the season in diamond and then I fell into gold. So it didn't make a big deal right there when I just reascended. We're 45 minutes away from another daily quest. We're not going to play that long though. Let's play three more battles. We'll make this a shorter one. Yesterday we had a gigantic one and a half hour AMA with me. FAQs through the through the whatever comments you guys are leaving. I tried to do those once a week so I can get in there and I can't keep up with the comments you guys are leaving. The channel's growing too fast. But one thing I love to do is those comment related videos where we just go into a broad array of, of um, questions, concerns, interests, and it just goes down a meandering path. But that's exactly the way I love it. That's the way my mind works. So I, I enjoy that. But that was a long video and there's tons of content there if you're interested. I'm breaking it down into little segments that are more digestible and more specific on, on one focus. Today there's one for SPS if you're interested. Otherwise, if you just want to watch the hour and 15 minute live, then you can see all of the stuff we talked about. Okay, odd ones. Only odd ones are allowed. Armor. Okay, so in this context, I think I think uh, white. Because white's got... Where is he? Five cost. Silver shield paladin with the four armor and the three... Or the eight hit hearts with the three melee. You know, a good candidate for the magic bounces off of you. And for five mana, this is one of my favorite tanks. He's such an amazing tank, for, especially for five mana. And then I think something like this might. Well, what's the better play here? Look at we got to make ball. Oh, we could go. We could go. True speaker is going to give me two more armor. Plus, he's going to give me a tank heal. And then I could go Divine Healer for double heals. Or I could go, you know, Thunderbird or Uraeus or Divine Sorceress. Lots of good options. Or even Crystal Wolf. Gotta decide. I'd love to have a repair, but I, I can only, I could do my Lone Boatman, but it's not good enough. Because it's not going to... Maybe it is good and maybe it is the right play, actually. We're going to try it because so often being able to sneak in... To attack his back line. That's what the Lone Boltman's going to do for me, right? I don't want to hit his tank. I want to take out his supporting characters. We'll see if it works. I can already tell based on his summoner that I probably made the right choice. Oh, maybe not. The summoner with the negative melee, the minus one melee, me made me feel like, okay, my silver shield paladin is going down to two attack. Now, what's that going to mean for, you know, attacking the front end? It, it made me feel like a snipe was probably the play, but as you can see back here, this is largely irrelevant. I mean, it's not because it's got inspire and strengthen, but um, it's killing this is not going to win me the battle. And so we'll see how this plays out, but I... If this mag, if the maggots kill my backline supporters before, before I kill the maggots, I'm in trouble. Yeah, he's gonna win because I, I don't have anything that's gonna hit the maggots. Yeah, he's definitely gonna win. I can't even imagine a way that I would win this. Now that I've thought it through. Not only is the retaliate a problem, but see the maggots is just has free run on me, right? I can't, I have no way to strike it. My my sniper is not going to focus fire his the maggots. If it was just these two versus this guy, I could pull that off, right? Because the armor would would save me. But scaven or the um, opportunity attacker back here took out my support, and that prevented my repair, which cost me the game. Okay, let's get two more. Like I said, guys, uh, I still get a lot of comments from you guys from every level saying I just can't get past this level. And if it's not card related, like if you legitimately have bought cards and you have the power level to reach a level, like if you have 1000 power, you should be able, if you have 1000 power worth of cards, you should be able to make bronze too. Like technically speaking, uh, objectively speaking, if you got 15,000 power, you should be able to make silver three. If, if you got the power and yet you're not making those levels, um, there's probably just some placement conditions that you're not, you're not understanding. 
Um, and, and probably just watching the old gameplay footage, the old, you know, gold grind, silver grind, bronze grind, even diamond or champion, you're going to begin to understand how we build a team. Look at what I'm doing. And, and for that matter, when you're losing games, specifically take note of how you lost and what did you lose to? What what made you vulnerable and what cost you those lo the loss? In that last battle, how did, why did I lose? He had an opportunity attacker and I didn't. And yeah, you could also say Lord of Darkness is better than, than the tank I put forward, but the opportunity attacker really changed, you know, made it, that was the thing that gutted my support, which really put was the nail in the coffin. So there in the future, I, I need to be cognizant of that. I thought I, I picked, I picked Silver Shield Paddle and as a counter to the, to, uh, or thinking that the magic issue was a good like because the, the magic bounced off armor in that battle that's why but he didn't even play play magic so i should have thought about that Seven hundred thousand, no heals no heals helicor conjurer with eight hearts magic reflect divine shield phase amazing card an amazing card I just recently leveled it up. Oh, oh, I'm glad I noticed this. You gotta, you gotta take a second. Always look at your rules of combat before you submit your team. The Silver Shield Assassin will not attack from that position in this context. I can hear my Discord. Sorry, guys. Okay, we gotta be quick. Quick. This. Try something different. Uh, opportunity attacker or something yes we do good go i'm a bit squishy we'll see if it works out okay come on i don't know what which um um this is a new computer. I don't know what software they pre-install it. I don't know what um, uh, what, what what version of Windows this is, but I hate that when I just accidentally click on the bottom of the bar here, the right at the bottom, it drops up all this like irrelevant news that I care nothing about. If you guys know how to turn that off, I'd love to be able to turn that off. I don't want to hear about Trudeau and his Tofino vacation. So let's watch this one and then. I think one more. Let's do one more after that. It's done is going to be a problem. The opportunity is going to be a problem. He's got armor. I don't. I didn't poison him. I feel like everything's going wrong here. Yeah. Yeah, we're done. This card is so game changing, absolutely game changing. Spirit of the Forest for seven mana, yes, but it's got three archery damage. It's got six speed. It's got eight hearts. It's got the tank heal, the fortify, and flight. It's very difficult to hit. It's an amazing archery like snipe shield, um, like it's like a sniper tank. Or, or if you put it in the back, it's like a sneak tank because it's got such high hit points. Plus, it's got flight and high speed. It's so game changing um it's one that if you're playing at a high level you should rent or find a way to buy i don't own it actually i, I rented it for a long time and it, it drastically changes the power of that of your of your green splinter it's like i'm fighting gold again because i did fall for losing the flight Hmm. Odd numbers. Okay.
Wish I could organize by by rarity. Like I don't want to see commons right now. I just want to see my rares. That'd be a nice way to rethink things. And you wouldn't have to. I mean, just make it a drop down where I could just click on it and quickly switch it. You know, it's got attack type. Why doesn't it say, you know, mana cost? What if it just said rarity? Right here, rarity. I just want to see my common monsters. I just want to see my legendaries. I'm really torn. I don't have, I don't really have a plan here. I'm going to try Amplify with Onyx Sentinel. It's not going to be good enough though. I'm, it's not, no, I can't do that. It's not, that's not a plan. That's the beginning of a plan. I don't, this feels weird, but given what I've got to work with here, give it a shot. Hmm. That's, I feel like that's the weakest team I've put forward in a long time. But just the mana cost and the rule set and the splinters offered, I just don't know that I could have done any better. This guy's super annoying with the dodge and the speed. But fortunately, I brought two relatively quick monsters. He still has a like a 35% chance to avoid my Kobold. He's going to have like a 15% chance to dodge my... I think it's 15 for dodge. And the shield's going to be annoying. Plus, he's going to repair. Oh, he's going to get me. Super repair flame monkey's going to cost me the game. Yep. Now, even if he dodged, I dodged everything he threw at me, he's going to repair every time I hit annoying okay so that wasn't as fruitful as we we usually like but you know we won the first one 120 dark energy crystals and we lost three in a row that's okay the beginning of the season is tough if you guys are having a difficulty right now understand that it's harder right now because so many amazing players got reset to now they're the lowest level that whatever rank you're playing in all the best players from your rank are there trying to get out of your way they're all scratching to get higher and they're just they're going to create a bottleneck for you so that's a problem but stay um you know today spend some time trying to grind up because like i showed you there's amazing dc rewards if you're uh, if you're able to get pull some wins let's leave it there thanks for your time and attention if you really want some long form content there's an hour and 15 minute q a from yesterday in the in the YouTube studio, right over here, you can come check it out today. An hour and 15 minutes long. We covered a ton of things, vouchers, alpha price drops after Chaos Legion, Chaos Legion price speculation, SPS, DS, DC. But then again, there's also a d specific content video from that one, one hour, 15 minutes, addressing all of the stuff we talked about with SPS and DC price uh future speculation and so on great i'm excited for that one so check it out thanks guys have an amazing day god bless